Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again, and today I'm going to show you how to recover your two factor authenticator codes from either Discord or Uphold. So let's get started. All right, so I've done several Google Authenticator videos. If you check up in the corner, I've got some links to some great. Google Authenticator code videos for recovery and setup. But today I'm going to focus on two specific accounts that you may have lost your phone for and how you can recover your two factor authentication Discord and Uphold. All right, so we're going to start with Uphold here. So uh, let's just assume that I've lost my phone, right? I'm going to do a sign in. All right, so I'm going to assume you still know your username and password. That's really not the issue here, right? This is the issue. I need that two-factor authentication code. What am I going to do? All right, so let's hit Get Help. All right, and so this link takes us to a support document. And the first line of defense when we lose our phone is our two-factor authentication setup key, right? We'll go over to that. Now, let's just assume maybe you can find that. All right, so you might want to poke around on your hard drive or flash drive to where you may have backed this up. See, uh, I have a disk where I store a lot of this stuff. So, and I do have an uphold folder and lo and behold, I have this little document that I put in here. All right, and when I open that document up, I have this long code. Now, what do I do with this long code? So I'm gonna, a lot of people will try to put it into their two-factor authenticator window. Now that's not going to work. It doesn't go in here. So we need to go to our new phone. So I'm assuming that if you lost your phone, you've got a replacement for it. Most people do, right? You got to have a phone, but you end up with an authenticator. Let's say you uh, download and install Google Authenticator. It's going to be empty, right? There won't be any codes in there. So what we need to do is add the uphold code using our two-factor authenticator backup, right? So the way we do that is we hit the plus, and then instead of scan barcode, I'm gonna hit manual entry. All right, now for account, I'm gonna put uphold, right? And so you just write whatever you want. In this case, it's uphold, so we're gonna make it meaningful for uphold. Now we need to put that code in here. So we just go back over to our two-factor code, that you saw I had backed up, and we carefully need to type that in. All right, and just to let you know, uh, you can look at your text file and type in the capital letter O, and then next to it, cap, uh, type in the letter zero. You can see in a text file that the zero is gonna have a little line through it, so you'll be able to tell the difference between capital O and zero. All right, and once you've got that typed in there, you might go back and double check to make sure that you didn't make any typos, and then we'll hit done. And then we'll hit the little check mark up in the top there. All right, and now you can see, if we scroll down to the bottom, that we have a new uphold code down there now. All right, so that is the code that we're gonna use in our login box, right? So let's go to the login box. So there's our code down there at the very bottom, 790116. Lo and behold, we got logged into our Uphold account. All right, we can close this, and you can see that I have successfully entered my Uphold account. So that's the key right there. Now, let's suppose that we couldn't find that backup code. Then what? All right, in that case, then we need to contact their support team. In that same article that I was looking at, there's a support team link. It's going to take you over here. You're just going to have to contact them directly, submit a request, all right? Explain what happened. They'll probably get back to you and have you jump through some hoops to identify yourself, your email, your ID, and that sort of thing. And that's your last resort. So there's no easy fix. If you've lost your phone and your backup code, you're simply going to have to talk directly to their tech support and deal with them. All right, so let's move on to Discord. All right, so here we are at Discord where, uh, once again, I'm going to assume that you know your username and password. 
All right, we'll pass the robot test. Now it wants our two-factor authentication. All right, so your first line of defense, if you don't have your phone, your Google Authenticator that came with that phone, I'm assuming that you'll probably go and get another replacement phone and have your regular phone number ported onto the new phone. Well, if that's the case, then you can still receive a text at your old phone number. All right, so that's our first line of defense. So we'll just hit that. All right, and you can see there that uh, they sent me a code so that I can use that code to log into my Discord. All right, and so we're going to use that text code to get into the account. And now we've logged in. So we'll go down here to user settings. All right, so we managed to get in using our text-based method but we really don't want to use that all the time. We would prefer to use an authenticator. So what we will need to do is get in here, disable two-factor authentication, and then we'll re-enable it with our new phone. All right, so in order to get into our account settings, we need to disable streamer mode. So go down here to where it says streamer mode and just turn that off. You can go back up here to my account. Now, uh, we've got this removed 2FA, but it wants the code, right? So we don't have the 2FA code. We got in through a text. We can't do that here. But we do have access to this, view backup codes. Now, we'll, we'll need our password. But like I said, I'm assuming you still know your username and password, right? So just put in our password, hit view codes, and boom, there we go. We got codes, right? Now let's just take one of these codes right here. Let's copy it. Let's hit remove 2FA. We'll paste in that code. Now this is a eight digit code. We just need to remove that dash, right? And then remove 2FA and boom, we're done. We got the 2FA removed. Now what we need to do, if we want to continue to use two-factor authentication is use our new device, which would be, you know, a replacement phone with a new copy of Google Authenticator on there. All right, so what we we'll want to do is we want to go to our Google Authenticator this is our new one, right? We replace our phone. Yours might still be empty if it's a brand new phone and you're doing Discord first. So we just want to hit plus and we're going to get ready to scan a barcode, right? Phone's ready to scan. Let's hit enable two-factor auth here. And there's that code. Let's just lift our phone up to that. Scan it. Boom. Got a new two-factor authenticator code down there at the bottom. Right, eight six eight one eight six. Activate, and we're back in business. All right. So in case that ever happens again, uh, that enable SMS authentication uh, helped us out, right? So I'm going to keep that on there. Going to put in my password again. All right. So we got that. Now we'll want to download those backup codes again. All right. Keep those in a safe place. All right, there it is, discordbackupcodes.txt. You can drop those wherever. I would suggest putting them on a flash drive that you keep in a safe place. All right, so if you did not have that uh, text backup feature enabled the first time you tried to get logged in, then you're not going to be able to get in with a phone text from your new phone, right? You're going to need to find your backup codes. So look around on your computer. Uh, you may find them. You know, you can uh, go through your drive and like type in Discord. Uh, and then also uh, that name of that file is Discord backup codes with underscore. So uh, just using that information might help find the file quicker, right? So let's uh, check my A drive. I'll use that search term. And boom, there they are, right? I had those backup codes saved on a flash drive. And then if you've done that and you find this code file, just open it up and you can use one of these codes to get yourself in on that login screen when it's asking for your 2FA. Just remember, you'll need to take out that dash in the middle, right? It's just eight characters, plain, with no dash in the middle. And that'll get you into the account. And then if you manage to do that, do the same thing I did. Go into your two-factor settings, disable 2FA, and re-enable 2FA so that you've got 
the new code generator in your new phone and then you'll be good to go. All right, so those are your two. If you got your old phone number ported to your new phone and you had the text backup, then you should be able to get in using that text. If you only had the two-factor authentication with no text backup, then you need to look for those backup codes that you may have on your computer somewhere. So here we go. If you lose your phone and you've got two-factor authentication on either of these accounts, you want to look for those backup codes, right? If you don't have the backup codes, then you really your only recourse is to contact tech support directly. And most likely they're going to ask you for personally identifying information in order to gain access to the account. And once you've done that, uh, you've gained access back to the account, you can re-enable two-factor authentication using your new device. So if you have any questions about anything I did, please throw them up in the comments and I'll do my best to get them answered. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. When you subscribe, there's a little bell that you can click that will allow you to be alerted whenever I post new content. Once again, thanks for joining me and hope to see you again soon.